hear the word of God and do it. Inviting you to spend your five minutes in listening, meditating, and praying on the word of God as you begin your day. Blessing and peace to you and all your family members. May the Lord Jesus bless you with love and peace. September 20th, 2022, Tuesday, 25th week of the Ordinary Time. Prepare your minds and hearts as you listen to the Gospel. A reading from the Gospel according to saint luke chapter 8 verses 19 to 21 then his mother and his brothers came to him but they could not reach him for the crowd and he was told your mother and your brothers are standing outside desiring to see you but he said to them, My mother and my brothers are those who hear the word of God and do it. The Gospel of the Lord. Let us pray and meditate on this Gospel passage. Who do you love and cherish the most? God did not intend for us to be alone, but to be with others. He gives us many opportunities for developing relationships with family, friends, neighbors, and co-workers. Why does Jesus seem to ignore his own relatives when they press to see him? His love and respect for his mother and his relatives is unquestionable. Jesus never lost an opportunity to teach his disciples a spiritual lesson and truth about the kingdom of God. On this occasion when many gathered to hear Jesus, he pointed to another higher reality of relationships, namely our relationship with God and with those who belong to God. Through Jesus Christ we become brothers and sisters, members of God's family. Those who have been baptized into Jesus Christ and who live as his disciples enter into a new family, a family of saints here on earth and in heaven. Jesus changes the order of relationships and shows that true kinship is not just a matter of flesh and blood. Our adoption as sons and daughters of God transforms all of our relationships and requires a new order of loyalty to God first and to his kingdom of righteousness and peace. Do you want to grow in love and friendship? Allow the Holy Spirit to transform your heart, mind, and will to enable you to love freely and generously. As God has loved you. Prayer Heavenly Father, You are the source of all true friendship and love. In all my relationships, may Your love be my constant guide for choosing what is good and for rejecting what is contrary to your will. Amen.